Kai here again with another builder tutorial series on the wearables. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to add emission or glow to our wearables. So as you can see I've imported our base male model because as you know I just uploaded it just to demo it out. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into click our object that we're going to be coloring and we're going to go into edit mode like in the last video to uh, start doing our colorization. I'm just going to do a block that is uh, glowing uh, just to kind of explain how this is. So we're going to start our new material like as if we were. Um, we can either use an image texture or we can do a color itself. I'm going to do a color just for example. Um, so I'm going to just make this like a teal color blue and I'm going to assign that. So now basically this part is just teal blue. We haven't added the glow yet or the emission yet. So if we want to add emission, this works the same for images, and I'll explain how. So if we scroll down on our right side tab, we have all these different options and everything. So if we keep scrolling down, there's this one section called emission. If we have an image, we are going to do the image texture just like we did on the base color. Um, this way it'll make it glow. So in our case, I'm going to use our uh, dropper and get the color that I want, which is not up there anymore, so I'll just get it myself. So I know it's just right up here. So if we left it up there right now, as you can see, we have emission now. It's glowing. It's so cool. I love glow. So the thing now is if we left this at emission strength 1, it would be way too bright in Decentraland. I know it doesn't seem that bright in Blender, but it is different in Decentraland. I like to play around with a few different emission strengths. Uh, point 0.2 will give you like a basic glow. It won't be too much. I think it's a very good standard. If you want a little bit more, I would never go past point 0.4 because it's starting to get very bright. Okay, so now we have our emission set and everything, and now let's demo it out in World. So we're going to go back to object mode. We're going to file export JLB include selected objects and we're going to do emission test. And we're going to hit export. And then we're going to pull up our builder tab again right in that collection that we've been working on the acid warrior. I'm just going to add it in here right now. And so it's called emission test sorry I spell things wrong sometimes just gonna find that thing we just created I'm trying to clean up my desktop here um, There it is, mission test. All right, and we're gonna select it as an upper body because that's what it is. Uh, we're just gonna select a random rarity and it's a male model, so we're just gonna make sure we select that. So I'm gonna hit create now. And now if we go into edit mode, as you see when this pulls up, it will not be glowing like it does in the game. That's one thing to remember. Okay, we got the chest piece and it's glowing. So now we have to make sure we test it out in world. So we're going to go back to our collection and we're going to go to the C in world again. We're going to switch over to our Robston network like in the previous video. And now we are going to load up the test network. Um, make sure you sign it to sign in. And it'll pull up. All right, and good, we're in night mode. We're going to go right into our backpack, go to our collectibles, and click that object we just made. So now if we open it up in world, we could see it's glowing. So that's point two emission. Remember, that's pretty bright. So you want to make sure you play around with it. Some of my emissions are only at like point zero five because it's all depending on the material and texture. I hope this guys helped you guys out. 
And I uh, hope to see a lot more glowing uh, wearables in Decentraland. Thank you guys for tuning in and stay tuned for another episode.